Hi, I hear that global warming is an immediate danger. Oh no, why? All of the scientists say so. What about all of the scientists who disagree? Those are only a tiny handful, and most of them don't do any research on climate at all. They are paid by industry to tell lies just like they did for tobacco. All of them? That's hard to believe. Some aren't, but their ideas have been shown to be wrong by many studies. How do you know that? It's easy, just use the internet. I have looked, but there is so much information it is confusing. Search for 97% and climate and you will find that 97% of scientists still agree humans are causing climate change. Okay, I will check that, but how do I know that is true? Why not believe the sites that say many scientists disagree? Yes, it can be confusing. Always see if the site refers to published scientific papers. That's too much work every time I just want to know what is going on. You don't have to do it every time. You will soon find some sites that give you reliable information while other sites just tell lies. Then you will know who you can trust. What are some good ones? You could start with searching YouTube for Green Man 3610 and Potholer 54, but don't take my word for it. Check their facts until you are satisfied. I will do that. But haven't the scientists predicted doomsday many times? Not really. With 63 million scientists in the world the media can always find some who will say crazy things, but consensus like we have now has been rare. In the 1970s didn't they say we were going to enter an ice age? No, that was only a half dozen people speculating. Many more scientists were already saying that global warming was a danger. What about the ozone layer panic? The scientists said that if we stop producing CFC we would be alright. We stopped producing CFC and it worked out just like they said. Aren't you just taking their word on faith? No, not really. If you go to the NASA website you can look at the section called Climate Change, Evidence. Okay, fair enough. But you raise another good point. I did. What was it? Every now and then you hear how some scientist like how Lewis says it is a scam. Yes, I remember that. But if you read the story you find he has no evidence or facts. He is just giving an opinion and he never did any climate work in his life. If you check, it is the global warming deniers who want you to have faith, to just believe them because they say so. Isn't all of the science based on computer models? No, that is another denier lie. Most of the science comes from many different branches of science. Watch Green Man's video, What We Know About Climate Change, to get an idea. They don't use computer models? Of course they do, that is part of it. But a computer is just a way of doing math very quickly. If you add two and two on paper it is not different from doing it with a computer. But aren't models super complex? Do they work? Yes, they are complex, and they are not perfect, that is very true. So they don't work? Imagine someone shooting at a dime from 300 yards away, and the bullet just nicks the edge of the dime. Was it a good shot or not? That would be an amazing shot. The deniers say the models miss because they do not get it exactly in the center. Sensible people realize that the models are still amazingly accurate even if they are not perfect. Haven't the scientists gotten in trouble for deceptive, unscientific practices? No. I think you are referring to what some people call climate gate. Yes. For one thing that was only a few people out of thousands. Even so, did you read the emails? I saw some quotes. You should read the actual emails. When you read them in context you realize it is just shop talk and office bitching like we do here all of the time. Some of the quotes seem pretty damning. Let's go to your computer right now and select some quotes of things you have said. Then send them to the regional manager. Let's not. Okay, I see your point. Like when I say that I could kill those idiots in accounting, it doesn't mean I am planning a murder. Exactly. And there was really no more to it than that? Go and read them for yourself. Fair enough, but but hasn't scientific progress always been achieved by skeptics challenging the consensus? Of course, but challenging the consensus has to be rational and fact-based. 
just running around waving your hands saying it is wrong and not having any facts isn't challenging anything. But what about Galileo? Galileo had facts, and his ideas explained the facts better than the orthodoxy did. The deniers have no explanation, or at least none that make any sense. Aren't you trying to make the skeptics look like Holocaust deniers by calling them deniers? Of course not. Denier is a centuries-old word from long before the Holocaust. It just means someone who is in denial. How often do you say senior management is in denial? Pretty often, I guess. And are you trying to say they are like Holocaust deniers? Of course not. Don't be silly, I just mean they are in denial. Exactly. Okay, I get your point. What about Al Gore? What about him? Um, I guess you didn't mention him. No, it is usually only the deniers who do. I only talk about the science, which is all he was doing. Didn't he get a lot wrong in his movie? No. There were a few minor errors that did not relate to the main points. If you think about it, that is pretty impressive for someone trying to summarize tens of thousands of scientific studies. Are you sure? You can check what climate scientists had to say about it if you want. What about blizzards and cold spells? Global warming is about global temperature. The science has always said there would be extreme cold here and there too. The important thing is the global average which has been rising for decades. So when it is unusually warm, that proves global warming, but when it's unusually cold that means nothing. That is not what I said. Record heat is happening twice as often as cold, what does that suggest to you? Um, that it is warmer more than it is colder I guess. And that the global average temperature is rising is what I said, and you can check that too. That is what you said. So if temperature is rising, and record heat is much more common than cold, would you say it is warming, staying the same, or getting colder? Well, it is what the weather guy on TV said. Weathercasters are not meteorologists or climatologists. They are broadcasters and presenters. Some of them are meteorologists. Yes they are. If you want to know what meteorologists think, why don't you check the website for the American Meteorological Society and the one for the World Meteorological Organization? I guess that makes sense. Of course it does. But that is not what deniers think is logical. They say one crazy meteorologist must be right because he is a meteorologist and he says so, but tens of thousands of meteorologists must be wrong even though they are meteorologists who have facts. That makes no sense. Nothing the deniers do makes any sense. Are the deniers really so bad? Have you seen the video that this one is copying? Seen it? We're both in it. It's pretty lame. Tell me about it. Notice how I am made to look like a brainless airhead? It's pretty patronizing, that is for sure. Did you also notice how there is no discussion of the science? The creator just makes one character look stupid and then pretends that he is refuting climate science. I guess if they had any facts they would talk about those instead of making things up. Exactly. But since they have no facts they create make-believe debates with a cartoon. That's pretty sad. It is very sad. Even worse, some people seem to think it makes sense. Yes, that is much sadder. Should we continue to expose what a fraud it is? I don't think so. Smart people will check the links we talked about and examine the facts for themselves. True, and the deniers will just keep on arguing with the cartoons in their head. Better those than me. Even a cartoon resents being made to look like an idiot. True, and now I don't have to seem like a smug self-satisfied jerk anymore. Thank God that is over. Actually that was kind of fun. Maybe we should do some more of these exposing how silly the deniers are. Do I still have to be the smug self-satisfied jerk? No, we'll keep it fair and balanced. Absolutely. Take care, and goodbye for now. You too.